My name is Haley Hill, and this was me when I was about four years old. Growing up, I had various people come to me and tell me that I had the potential to become a great leader. They told me that I had the ability to speak my mind when others didn't, to say the hard things that I could, I could only, well, I not only could sympathize with others, but I, I could empathize with others and a lot of other different things. So I want to ask you guys, how many of you have been told that you have the potential to become a leader? Awesome. Most all of us. Well, I don't know about you guys, but when I was first told that, I was very intimidated. I thought, how can I become a great leader? How can I live up to leaders such as this? The Queen, Oprah Winfrey, Mother Teresa, and Teresa, just the just a beam of a woman. But as I moved on in life, when I got older, I realized that I can become a leader because I'm surrounded by leaders in my life. And these are just a few. I have my friend Winnie Monker, Dusty Thompson, Destiny Ortiz. My parents, Darren and Christine Hill. Oh, sorry. Um, my great aunt and uncle. My two friends, Avery and Ben, Emily Miller. This wonderful man from my time in Uruguay, Rafael Sanchez. They're ordinary people. Now, how many of you know anybody who's on my board right now? <laughs> but a lot of you guys don't know them but just because they may not be well known by the public and the world doesn't mean that they aren't great leaders so today I want to teach you how to become a great leader great leaders innovate responsibility how do great leaders innovate responsibility? They define reality. Napoleon Bonaparte was, Bonaparte was a military leader during the French Revolution. He then became the leader of France after the revolution. Um, he's very famous for saying this quote, the role of the leader is to define reality and to give hope. Now, our generation is very good about defining what's in front of us, defining reality, what's happening. But leaders from the past and sometimes the leaders of the present, they're, they're very well known for hiding what may be happening by not telling the full truth, by sugarcoating everything to make it seem good. When in reality, the world around us may be falling apart. A great example, oh. so don't lie when you're a leader. You should be honest. It's okay to tell the truth, to, to define the reality that's around us. And when you do that, you need to follow up with hope. Tell
tell them that, yes, though our situation is tough, we can get through it, and this is exactly how we're gonna get through it. One of the most amazing examples of a person who defined reality was a historical figure, Jesus Christ. There's a parable about him in the scriptures, and it's about him when he came upon a woman who was caught in adultery, and people were casting stones at her. But Christ came up and he said, if any of you have not sinned, you may cast a stone. And nobody could. Everybody, is, everybody had sinned. They weren't able to. And so he defined that reality for everyone. Sins happen. People mess up. We make mistakes. But that's okay. So, another way that Christ is a great example is that oh is that well I'll tell you how else do, how else can leaders innovate responsibility generate service mentality when you're a leader you need to be serving others you need to be the example. You can't just be on top of the mountain pointing down at each of your people um, and telling them what to do, but sitting back, relaxing, taking all the credit. You need to be serving them in their job, helping with what they're doing. A great person who did this is Mahatma Gandhi. He said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. So, serve those around you. Serve those who you have leadership over. You'll gain better perspective. You'll gain respect from them. And you'll grow. What is the best way that leaders innovate responsibility? They nurture diversity. It can be hard for us to step outside of our boundaries, to connect with those who may not be a part of our social group, our ethnicity, our, our culture, whatever it may be. It's hard for us to step out of our boundaries. But the greatest leaders do. They push themselves to come to know others who are not like them. Going back, oh, so, a study done by Wright and Palmer took a survey of a bunch of different leaders and their groups, and they came to the conclusion that of the top 25%, um, 35% of those groups were inclusive. These leaders did exactly that. They stretched, they stretched their boundaries. Go out and diversify yourself. Get to know others. It'll only benefit you. Let's review. How do great leaders innovate responsibility? They define reality. They generate a service mentality and they nurture diversity. Great leaders innovate responsibility.